we'll be going over some basic printer settings available when printing a Word document. Printer settings allow you to apply different layouts and ways to print a Word document. Our first order of business will be to open the document to be printed. Once you have opened the document and ensured that all the information is correct and ready to print, you will need to navigate to the File tab in the upper left-hand corner of the screen. From here you need to choose the Print option from the list available on the left. This will take you to the Print page. This is where we choose the printer we want our document to print on. To do this, simply click the drop-down box under the Printer section and select the printer. Assuming we're only printing one copy and do not need to apply any settings, our document is ready to print. To do this, click the Print button at the top left-hand corner of the page and your document will print to the selected printer. What if you need to print multiple copies of a document? To print multiple copies, go to the upper left-hand corner. Next to the Print button, you'll find the Copies Input box. Here you can designate the numbers of copies you need to print. You can key in the number of copies, or use the up and down arrows and scroll to the number of copies. So if you need three copies of a document, you can simply scroll to three. Now check to make sure you're printing to the correct printer, and click the print button to print your three copies. What if you have a large multi-page document that you only need to print a few pages from, or just a small section from? Using the settings, you can make sure you have the pages or section you want, which saves you from having to print the whole document just to get what you need. Under the settings section, the first option should say print all pages. If selected, this will print the entire document. The next option available is print current page. This prints the page you are currently viewing. To switch to different pages, use the arrows at the bottom of the screen. This will designate which page to print. The third option available is custom print. This allows you to enter a page or range of pages to be printed. For instance, you could enter page 2 through 3 and it will only print pages 2 through 3. Our fourth option is grayed out, which is print selection. For this to be an available option, you must have a selection highlighted in the document. So if you back out using the arrow at the top left corner, it takes you back to the document. If you highlight a section of the document, when you return to the print page, you can see that print selection is no longer grayed out and it is an available option. So if you click this option and go to print, it will only print the highlighted section of the document. The next printer setting available is whether you want the document to print on one side or both sides of the paper. Let's click on the drop down box and view the options. The first option is print one sided. This will only print the document on one side of the page. The next option is print on both sides. Depending on the printer, if you select this option, you may have to manually reload the paper after it is printed on the front side. Some printers are capable of doing this for you, but not all are. The next printer setting will allow you to choose to print the document collated or uncollated. That is, the order in which you want the pages of the document to print. Let's say you are printing three copies of a three-page document. If the collated option is selected, the pages will print out in order, the first page followed by the second, then the third, and that will repeat two more times. If the uncollated option is selected, the pages will not print out in order, but rather the first page will print three times, followed by the second three times, and then the third three times. Document orientation is the next printer setting on the page. If you click the drop-down box, there will be two settings, portrait orientation and landscape orientation. Portrait orientation is how most documents are printed. It is more of a vertical setup. Landscape orientation is more of a horizontal setup. This orientation is useful when printing graphs, charts, and tables in a Word document. The next printer setting is paper size. If you click the box, you can see there are many different sizes available. 8.5 by 11 is the standard paper size. If you're ever printing on different size paper, be sure to open up the drop-down box and match the size in the box with the paper being printed on. Under the last setting, there is a link for the page setup. Here you can apply many of the same settings that are being covered. On the paper tab, it allows you to select the paper source. Here you can select the tray that the paper is being printed from. So if you needed to print a different paper size, you could select the tray that housed that paper. Margin size is the next printer setting. If you click the box, you can view a list of available margin sizes. The default margin size is one inch. However, our current document is set to narrow, which is half inch margins. You can see there isn't much room in the margins of our document. The normal is set to one inch margins. 
You can see once it's changed from narrow to normal, the amount of space in the margins has increased by half an inch. There's much more room there now than there was there before. Moderate margins are three-fourths of an inch on the left and right, and one inch on the top and the bottom. Wide margins are one inch on the top and the bottom, and two inches on the left and the right. So you can see here this adds a lot more room to the margins than was there with the narrow. The last print setting is pages per sheet. This setting will allow you to print multiple pages from the document onto one page. So if you wanted to print our four page document all on one page, we would select the four pages per sheet and all of the four pages would print on the same page. The first page would be at the top left, the second at the top right, third at the bottom left, and fourth at the bottom right. If you were printing multiple pages onto one sheet, make sure to not print too many pages per sheet because you may not be able to read what is on each page. That's all for printer settings. I hope you found some of the information useful.